Hello. Wow, I did not expect it to look like this at all. I had to put my hand down so it would stop shaking. <laughs> Is your name Peyton Roy List? Yes. Were you born on April 6th, 1998? Yes. Are you about to take a lie detector test? Yes. Are you nervous? Yes. Let's start with your life. You've said that you were once kicked off a dating app because they thought you were a fraud. Does that mean you're too famous for dating apps? No. Do you like dating apps? No. Do you think online dating is weird? Yes and no. I guess I know it's the normal now, but it's weird for me. When you were on dating apps, what was your age range? <laughs> I think it was my age at the time, which must have been 21 to 28. Maybe it was older. Is 15 years too big of a gap? I don't think so. If this man were interested in you, <laughs> would you go on a date with him? No. Why not? Is that true? <laughs> I think our age difference is a little too much. That's true. <laughs> I also have a boyfriend. <laughs> would you ever date a non-celeb? Yeah. Have you? Yes. What about a co-star? Would you ever date a co-star? Yes. That's true. Would you have swiped right on your boyfriend if you saw him on an app? Yes. What if he was holding a fish in one of his photos? <laughs> yes. Is that true? You've previously told Vanity Fair that your dog, Mo is a diva. Does that mean you're an enabler? Yes. I give in to his everything. Does he fly first class with you? Yes. Has Mo ever ridden on a private jet? No. Would you say he's a bigger diva than you? No. That's a lie. He's a bigger diva than me? That's funny. So do you consider yourself low maintenance? Yes. Have you ever yelled at paparazzi? Have I ever yelled at them? No. Have you ever snapped at a fan? Yes, I think I have. Did they deserve it? I was crying and they still were asking for a photo. And I was just like, can you not see that I'm having an emotional day? Um, so I did snap. But I think I still was smiling because as you can tell, when I get nervous, I smile, so. So you're nervous? A little bit. Moving on to your career. You said you've developed thick skin to deal with the rejection that comes with the industry. Yes. So are child stars the toughest actors in the business? Yes. Would you say this girl was pretty tough at the time? Ah! That's awful. Oh my God, this is one of those photos that you hope never comes back. And then now, uh, yeah, I think she was. I think she was. That is an outfit. Thanks, mom. That is just awful. <laughs> As a child, you had a small role in Remember Me, starring Robert Pattinson. So does that mean he's your favorite Batman? No, he's not. Did you have a bad experience with him on set? Uh, 
I don't know what to say. No, I don't think so. Do you think he and Suki are going to last? Yes. Is that true, Sam? That's inconclusive. You guest starred on a series, Happy Together, executive produced by this man. <laughs> are you surprised to see how successful his acting career has become? Yes, but in the best way. I think he's really talented. Do you think you're a better actor than he is? No. That's true. Your Cobra Kai co-star, Mary Moser, says out of all of your castmates, you are most likely to want to get revenge on an enemy. Do you agree with her? No. So there's no one that you would want to take revenge upon? No. That's true. <laughs> Moving on to pop culture. Is it true that you learned your work ethic from watching America's Next Top Model? Yes. You've said you're very competitive. Do you think you would have won if you were a contestant on the show? No. Do you think Tyra would have approved of this model pose? Oh God. Oh God. This is awful. No. She would not have approved at all. Where are you finding these? Can you explain what's happening in this photograph? I think that was me at a Jonas Brothers concert. I don't remember how old I was. You're closest to Kevin in this photo. Does that mean he's your favorite Jonas Brother? He is not my favorite Jonas Brother. Who is? Uh, Joe was my favorite. As fellow Disney stars, are you all in a secret Illuminati-like club? No. Is it because you can't tell me if you are? No. Is that true, Sam? Inconclusive. <sighs> Can you imagine? <laughs> You love TikTok and have once called it the older sister I never had. Yeah. Have you ever found yourself on a random side of TikTok but didn't want to leave? Yes. What is it? Any video with figurines where they're getting in, you know, these intense fights and they're just these little dolls. I've also made it onto a side of TikTok where people like dance their trauma out really intensely. And they'll sometimes dance it in the rain, or it'll be like, it, it really can be anyone. And that is one of the most random sides, but I love it. Would anyone be surprised about what's on your For You page? Yes. How so? I think it's just different from how I seem. Even my sense of humor and my interests are different than I think I, than how I seem. Have you ever DM'd a fellow celebrity? Yeah, but I don't think I was doing it to flirt. What were you doing it for? Oh, what was I doing it for? I think I was just DMing them back from a request. Who was it? I don't remember their name, but it was a soccer player. Is it true she doesn't remember the name? That's true. Did they respond? Yes. What did they say? Man, I'm really lucky my memory is horrible. Final question. At any point, did you lie during this interview and we didn't catch you? No. That's true. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay. I blacked out, I think. <laughs>